Hello Amazon.com, my name is Bo Shevisu. Today I am reviewing for you this fantastic thing here on Amazon.com. It is a 30 liter dry bag from Aquafree. Um, now I have tested another dry bag before from Hydro Guard, I think they're called. I don't know what the price difference is, but I like the features in this already. And um, I don't know if it's more expensive. You can look that up later because prices change and fluctuate all the time on Amazon. But let me just break through why I like this dry bag. Uh, I, well, first of all, it's huge. If you'll notice this right here, 30 liters is quite a bit. But also keep in mind that the nature of dry bags is that you fold these three times. One, two, three and that makes the bag considerably smaller. So just keep that in mind. Um, I would actually, for that very reason, get the, the, the biggest possible size uh, because you'll be rolling it down, taking a lot of capacity out of it. Uh, now, um, you'll notice before I actually close this up and test it with a bucket of water, um, if you look inside, it's actually kind of a rough rubber type canvas material, except for right around the lip right here. And that is sort of a shiny type plastic. And it's shiny plastic there and it's shiny plastic on there so that they stick together. You can kind of hear it. So there, it really creates a good seal when you roll it up. That, that's very thoughtful, I think. Also, shoulder straps right here. You can wear this as a backpack. You can detach the shoulder straps as well. Also, there's a handle here and a handle here. So very, very easy to pull things in and out of a raft or a boat or anything like that. The uh, last little feature that I'd like to share with you before I go ahead and dump water all over this, and this I haven't seen on other dry bags out there. This is kind of cool. See this little valve right there? It says open and close on it. it feels kind of like a Thermarest's, uh, you know, sleeping pad valve, a bit bigger of course. Uh, but it lets air in and out. So if you have a bunch of stuff in here, you can smash it down and then let all the air out. So it creates sort of a, a negative vacuum, uh, which is good when there's water around. Um, uh, that Well, okay, not, not too much of a negative vacuum because then it will suck the water in once it, yeah, you know what I mean. But anyway, you basically you can take the air out once you crush it up, which is very thoughtful of them. There are instructions on the side right there. It basically says, puts things in, roll it up three times, buckle it, and hopefully it will stay dry. Today, we are using our little friend Elmo. Can you say hi, Elmo? Hi, Elmo! A little smart Alec. This is Elmo, and we're gonna, he's bone dry. We're gonna put him in here, and now we are going to close it on up. One, two, three. Beautiful. Make sure our valve is closed. Let's go ahead and open it. Hey, isn't that cool? Oh, very neat. It looks neat too. I like the color yellow. Uh, but let's not be trivial. Who cares about looks anyway, right? Okay, okay, okay. Upside down dunk. Okay, all right, that's, I really put a lot of water on there. Let's open it up and see if Elmo is in fact dry. I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell because I am soaked, but yeah, you, you get the idea. We open it up, uh-huh. Slowly open it. It's a little damp around. Pleh. Tastes funny. Hmm. Yes, I taste all my products. Oh, interesting. This this little sticky thing really did quite a bit to keep it dry in there. I see slight drips just around the edges, but no drips beyond that. Wow. Let's feel him. Oh, he is dry and soft and uh, he is happy. Wow, Elmo, how many stars would you give this? I give this a five out of five stars. 
very, I would give the same amount as well. My name is Bo Chevisu, and I look forward to reviewing more fantastic things here off of Amazon.com.